Hi, welcome to my allotment. It is end of May, beginning of June. And I'm going to show you my birthday present from Erica, which I'm very pleased with, if I can set it up. I knew you'd like that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what we need to do first is put it up with water. Shall we have a little tour around the allotment while we don't get some water? Look at my bees. Hello, ladybird. Hello, ladybird. Look, it's my new best friend. Because you're going to go and eat some fly for me, aren't you? Some black fly. I'm going to go in there and yum some up. And lay some eggs so you're there. Oh, that's some flavour under there. Brilliant. I think she understood you. <laughs> I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I've got lots of lovely broad beans here. I'm going to harvest them later on. Onions. Good lord. Look. These are huge and some of them are starting to turn the tops over so they'll be ready oh soon. Oh my goodness, that's so exciting. Yummy. And on the other side, monster asparagus. Oh yes. There. Very happy with those. This is the base. There's a hole in it for the wind to go through so we try and work out the wind was going. There isn't really, very much, really. But what there is is coming from there. Some dry grass and some little I drink. tiny sticks in there. I have a drink. Put that on top. Yeah. Now, I have trouble getting things alight, so I'm not messing about today. <laughs> What's that? It's a little cook's blowtorch. <laughs> Fantastic! Oh my goodness! That's it, that's going. Wow, that's the amazing. The trick I discovered with this is that you need to keep the flames flaming all the way up to the top because if you've just got a little fire at the bottom, it doesn't heat the water. What you've got is the water inside the walls of the kettle and provided the flames leap up, they heat it up really quickly. And you just chuck extra bits of sticks through the hole in the top. That's amazing. The only thing is, it does need a bit of wind to keep it going. And we haven't got very much today, so we might struggle. The flame's coming out the top now, it's all good. Yeah. Wow. Oh, we can keep it going without any wind, that's the difficult <laughs> thing. But once it's properly going, it'll be easier, I reckon. Um, is it this Of shots on my bum. Yes, <laughs> that's what I was chuckling at. Yeah, what is that on your leg there? Oh, yeah, today, so we decided we were going to pretend it was uh, Halloween, so oh, we did painted fingers and toes and um, a person witch on my leg in eyeliner, eyeshadow, and this pink stuff that won't come off completely is uh, nail varnish. <laughs> did you put nail varnish on your leg? When I wasn't looking. <laughs> Oh, that's making lots of funny noises. Uh, those noises, can you go a bit closer and get the noises in? Those noises are what make, tells you that it's working. It's the sound of the air, I think, rushing through. Oh, wow, yeah, I can see the flames. Really well. Look at that. Oh, wow. These sticks, by the way, are last year's Jerusalem artichokes. Oh, there's a use for them after all. Artichokes are just behind you. That's this year's two small jokes. Horrible things. Is it? Yeah. Not real ones. I don't like them. Right here, in amongst the weeds, we've got some uh, beetroot. Here's a lovely big one. And some carrots. If you look, we can see that there is some carroting going on there. This should be palmix. Okay, so we should be getting for the fat round ones. I don't think they're fat enough yet. And there's a few spring onions. Here and there. Pretty good. I think there might be some lettuce in there. It looks like weeds to me, but you know, not, not a lettuce aficionado, so who knows. Parsley. Oh, that was parsnips. Parsnips, that's what I meant. That <laughs> <laughs> really, really needs thinning, isn't it? And one carrot. More than one. Two carrots. Nice big one, and there's one, a little one there, a little one there, and there. Not Car many carrots. Carrots aren't as successful as people make out, are they? Yeah, well, I have a lot of trouble with them. I do. 
Oh, yeah, I've never actually grown any successful carrots. Well, I've grown a few, but you sow lots of seed and you end up with two, two five carrots. Yeah. It's always just a little bit disappointing. Mm. Mastered the art of street carrots, just not carrots. <laughs> <laughs> Bloody carrots. Oh, look at this, look at this. When do we know it's done? You'll find out. Come on, wake up. We ignored it for a minute too long, you see. It's constant attention, like tomatoes. Like tomatoes. Come on, I know you're hot in there, I can see it. Please. <laughs> make me laugh. <laughs> I don't see why any of that is funny at all. <laughs> the fire is alive. Talking to me. A woman and her cooking pot <laughs> is an eternal <laughs> symbol of human culture. Especially if she's making a pot of tea. Absolutely. Oh, what's going on here? This is peppermint. Have a smell. <laughs> oh, yes, very peppermint-y. Cup for Erica. Cup for Angela. Oh, wow, look at that go. Solomon. My funny cat. Funny cat, funny cat, funny oh, cat. Get smoke in my eyes now. <laughs> smoke gets in your eyes. Especially when you're a witch of the woods. Yes. <laughs> Mom, so we just take off about that much mint for each cup. That's job done. I, this is looking a bit floppy because I just planted it today. I dug it up from my garden and uh, and um, okay. stuck it in a pot to bring down here. I'm gonna. Plant it somewhere. A bit more. Is it? What? Is, oh, the cat that yeah. Oh, sorry, sorry. Yeah. Oh, smell the plant. Yeah, I would smell smell it would smell yummy. It. So, yeah, that'll perk up soon enough. That's just because it's recently been dug up and stuck in a pot. Well, look at your beans while you do that. They straight. I settled in a bit, but they don't seem to be growing very fast. Well, well they will do. Uh, I guess I'm comparing them with the weeds. And <laughs> yeah, it's very hard to compare them with the weeds, but in between your beans you've got some lovely shalots. The magic is charred. <laughs> I'm not going to eat it, I'm just keeping it as an architectural structure. Yes, well, I don't blame you, it's beautiful. It's a bit further away from the fireplace. Certainly more beautiful than it is anymore. <laughs> <laughs> so are you a fire starter? Woo, twisted fire starter! New, 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 new. Yeah. <laughs> Or would you prefer the Witch of the Woods? Witch of the Woods, definitely. Oh, look at those flames. <coughs> this is going to be my squash patch. Erica's sitting in the middle of it filming, so you won't see all of it. But at this end, I'm going to plant some cucumbers. And I've got some here. This one is Restina, the kind of gherkin. Sophie's going to plant that on her patch. And these ones are crystal lemon. Oh, crystal lemon. And I don't think they are F1s, and I don't think this one is either. Oh. But I'm not certain. I wouldn't like to swear to it. Um, so, yeah, I'm just going to stick them in the ground around these trees which I've planted. They're not real trees, are they? Uh, well, they probably come from a real tree or bush or something, but they're, they're branches that we found in the hedge. And they, they won't be... Uh, tall enough for a for the full size cucumber but what I'm probably gonna do because it's an outdoor cucumber is is pinch out the growing tip before it gets very far so it can just grow um, fairly vigorously with what's left. Yeah, chuck some chicken poo in there. I think that's not gonna be too strong for it but that's a big chunk of these things. <laughs> I haven't in any way dug this. It's been covered with carpet and what have you for, well, best part of two years now. Um, so it's pretty weed free. And a cucumber's gonna have to cope with the compacted earth because when you get to the end of May, the beginning of June, I think that's the time to stop digging. <laughs> I feel that so, about January. So I have. <laughs> Yeah, 
cucumbers done. I'm going to carry on later and put Can some I more squash in. I'm going to put some summer squash along the front of this bed. Can I blow my own? Yes, in a little while, honey. And then uh, on the wee matty where you're sitting, Erica, yeah. I shall do the Erica trick of sticking some <laughs> in and putting some winter squash in there. Good plan.